It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking angles. We're going to talk about vertical angles, complementary angles, supplementary angles, and adjacent angles. Our lesson today, here are our objectives. You, the student, will identify vertical angles. You will also identify complementary and supplementary angles. You will write and solve simple equations to find missing angles. And here's the question I'd like you thinking about today as I go through the lesson. How can you, you find the measures of angles formed by intersecting lines? So you're thinking about that as we go through the lesson. Here's some vocabulary. We'll start with an angle. An angle is formed when two straight lines or rays meet at a common endpoint called the vertex. So we're going to have two straight lines or rays and a vertex. So let's draw that. Here are two rays and a vertex, and here are two lines and a vertex. So a vertex is a point where either the two rays meet or the two lines intersect. This is a ray because it has an endpoint and extends infinitely in one direction. A line extends infinitely in both directions. So I'm going to form an angle first from the two rays and the vertex. So we have one ray, it meets at this vertex, and this is our angle. And then when we have two lines, we're going to draw the line so that they intersect, and here is their common vertex, and it forms four angles. Now let's talk about the two intersecting lines and the angles that are formed when the two lines intersect. We call these vertical angles. And vertical angles are the pair of angles formed opposite from each other when two lines intersect. So we have our two intersecting lines, and here's our vertex where they intersect. And we have this angle and this angle that are formed, and this angle and this angle that are formed. These have one arc in them because vertical angles share this vertex and are congruent. So this angle is opposite this angle and they are congruent. And then these are opposite angles and they have two lines in them because they are opposite and congruent but a different measure than the other opposite angles. So two pairs, one pair, two pairs. And opposite vertical angles are congruent. Let's go ahead and talk about how to use that to find missing values. But before we do, I would like you to identify a pair of vertical angles in this diagram. So you're gonna pause the video here and identify which angles are vertical angles. Come back and hit play when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we're looking here for vertical angles. Two and four are opposite each other. They share that vertex from the pair of intersecting lines. So angles two and four are vertical angles and congruent. Another answer you could have given was angles one and three. They are opposite each other from these vertical lines and they are vertical angles. So now we wanna find the value of X when we have our intersecting lines. If you think you're ready to go for it, go ahead and pause the video here and come back and hit play when you're ready. So here's our solution. 42 is a vertical angle to X. They are opposite each other. So that if they're vertical angles, they have the same measure and we know that X is 42 degrees. Now here's another one. I'd like you to do your best work Find the value of X using what you know about vertical angles. Come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. So here's our solution. We know that these are opposite each other, vertical angles, and that they are congruent. So that means two X plus three must equal 105 degrees. So let's write an equation. Two X plus three equals 105. Now we just need to solve for X. So I wanna get X isolated. We want this all by itself. So I'm gonna do the inverse or opposite of add three and I'm going to subtract three from each side. Three and negative three are a zero pair. So I'm left with two X plus zero or just two X on the left and 105 subtract three is 102. 
To solve for x, I have to undo multiply by 2, so I'm going to divide each side of my equation by 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, leaving me 1x or just x, and 102 divided by 2 is 51. So I know that my value of x, using what I know about vertical angles, is 51. Now let's talk about complementary and supplementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles whose measurements add up to 90 degrees. And here's a diagram of that. So I have a ray that meets another ray at the vertex. This yellow box right here, this square, tells me that they're a 90 degree angle, a right angle. You can see another ray bisects this, not bisects because they're not equal, but meets at the vertex and split this into two angles, a 40 degree angle and a 50 degree angle. Together, they add up to 90, so these two angles together are a 90 degree angle, making them complementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles whose measurements add up to 180 degrees. So here's a figure for that. We have a straight line, which is a 180 degree angle, and we can see that this ray splits this 180 degrees into two angles, a 110 degree angle right here and a 70 degree angle. Because 110 and 70 degrees add up to 180 degrees, these two angles are supplementary angles. Another vocabulary word for you is adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles that share a common vertex and a common side. So these complementary angles share a vertex and they each share this green ray for a side. So my 40 degree angle and then my 50 degree angle, my 110 degree angle, and then my 70 degree angle. So they both have the same vertex and they share this side. Same vertex and they share this side, so they're adjacent. So once again, complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees, and supplementary angles are two angles who add up to 180 degrees. I always remember C comes before S, 90 is smaller than 80. So now let's look at complementary angles that are not adjacent. We have two angles here. Their sum, 40 plus 50, is 90 degrees, so they're complementary. But they're not adjacent angles, and that's okay. They're still complementary angles. And then we have supplementary angles, 110 degrees and 70 degrees. They don't share a vertex or a side. They don't share a vertex or a side, so they're not adjacent angles but they are still complementary and supplementary angles. Your turn. You're given four pairs of angles in this table. You need to determine if each pair of angle measures is complementary, supplementary, or neither. Please pause the video here, fill out the table, come back to check your work. Welcome back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add each pair together. So 126 degrees and 44 degrees have a sum of 170 degrees. Well, that's neither. To be complementary, they need to be 90 degrees. Supplementary, they need to be 180. So these two angles add up to 170, making them neither. So if you didn't pause yet and you want to try the next three on your own, here's a good time to pause. All right, 41 and 49 added together are 90. Since the sum is 90 degrees, they are complementary angles. 63 add 37 has a sum of 100 degrees. So that's neither complementary nor supplementary, making them neither. And then we have 113 add 67. We're going to get a sum of 180 degrees, making that pair of angles supplementary. Now let's put everything we've learned all together. Here is a diagram. Here's your x, and we need to find the value of x. Go ahead and pause, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. 
Welcome back. So the first thing I see is I have a triangle right here inside this diagram. We all know that the interior angles of a triangle must equal 180 degrees. But I don't know this value of x and I don't know this angle. I do know this is 90 degrees. The only other measure given to us is this 30. What you notice is 30 is a vertical angle. It's opposite to this angle of the triangle. Because they're vertical angles, we know they are congruent. They have the same measure. So this angle is 30 degrees. So now I could write an equation. I have 30 degrees, 90 degrees, and x. Those are the three interior angles of the triangle, and they have to have a sum of 180 degrees. All right, let's solve for x. 30 plus 90 are like terms and equal 120. Add my x equals 180. To solve for x, I'm going to do the inverse and subtract 120 from each side. This is a zero pair, leaving me x equals 180, subtract 120, which is 60. So I know that this missing angle x has a value of 60. And there you have it. That is angles formed by intersecting lines, which are vertical angles. We talked about complementary angles, supplementary angles, and adjacent angles. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you come back soon and have a great day.